What is up, YouTube? Wait a second, how come we're 2D today? I don't know, but you look funny. Ah, uh, look who's talking. You have no hair. Oh, yeah, I don't. Uh, okay, so... I guess Sparkman never had time to make the 3D animations. Eh, uh, okay, I don't care. Like the video and subscribe. Welcome to another video, my name is Sparkman, I'm a game developer. Today we're going to make our characters switch weapons. Alright, so let me show you the demo. I'm going to press a uh, spacebar to shoot. And you can see that he shoots. I'm going to press 2 on my keyboard. Alright. And you can see that I have a different weapon. I'm going to press 3 on my keyboard. And now I have a laser. Alright, so open the example file, which you can find under the description below. Now, if you don't know what software I'm using for making games, there is a link down below where you can download the free version. There is also a link to the paid version, which allows you to create commercial games. And next to the link, you can find a code, which allows you to get a discount. Let's have a look at the assets we're working with. All right, so here is our main character. I'm going to double click on him and you can see he's just pixel art. He only has one animation and uh, stop animation, which is not really animated. This is the background. You can see that this is just a picture. If you click on your main character under properties. You can see that he's a, uh, a direction object. These are the settings I'm using. These are the objects we're going to be shooting and you press space bar. You notice that nothing happens. Let's go to the uh, editor, new condition, under keyboard and mouse, repeat while key is being pressed, spacebar. Under the main character, we are going to launch an object. It's gonna be this uh, bullet, select the direction, right, try it out, hold spacebar. You can see that that works fine, but that's a little too fast. Let's do an insert and under the timer, every 20 milliseconds. That's much better. Let's add a sound to this. Samples. Try it out. We have this counter here. This is only going to work if the counter is set to zero. Let's copy line one. Set this uh, to one. We're going to change the sound. Now we just need a way to change the counter. If the user presses a uh, one, then we're going to set our counter to zero. Copy line three, paste it, replace it for two. Let's set the counter to one. Try it out. Going to start at zero. That works fine. Let's press two. Now this one should shoot a little faster. Set it to maybe 15 milliseconds. Okay, that's the first one. Second one. And that's not too bad. Let's do the laser. Copy. Set it to 2. And um, if the user presses a 3, I'm going to set the counter to 2. I'm going to uh, delete this. Launch an object. The laser. Select the direction. And uh, maybe that's a little too fast. Let's just slow it down. 45 milliseconds. Try it out. Press 2. And press 3. And that's our laser. Lasers should make a different sound. That's better. Third one. Alright, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Don't forget to check out my other channel, The Sparkman Vlog. So subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you in the next episode.